up chums welcome back to skinny rollers 84 playing some dark souls 3 here on twitch so we are back in lotharic we're just gonna go right into it oh it looks like here in the corner appears to be where people get summoned which is cool now but we won't waste people's time since i have no idea where the heck a boss is <laughs> so we won't do that quite yet and even though it looks like there's stuff here, there's actually not. So, first thing I'm going to do is put a message here. Saint Pointless Ahead. Uh, I believe it's Concepts? Or maybe it's Musings. Hmm. Maybe it is Concepts. Aha, there we go. Alright. So, a few housekeeping things, I uh, watched my things, wasn't quite happy with the audio or visual quality, so I played around with the audio levels a little bit to make sure that uh, my audio, my microphone levels are a little bit higher so we can get some more gains there, and then I also just need to make sure I finish my thoughts in my rambling, just make sure I'm pronouncing things and all that good stuff. Then I'm also... Uh, Mess around with the brightness levels, we'll see. As I notice on YouTube, especially, the video kind of looks a little funky. The colors are all interesting looking. So we'll see if that'll do anything. So I know that there's a bonfire off that way, but I never did explore this way. So we're going to check that out. However, I do know that there's a turd here. It will just shoot us. Let's put a stop to that riffraff. And let us go explore. We can't go down to that turret. Oh. And more undead doggies. Didn't quite kill him, but I'm sure that he'll find his way back up here. And he brought friends. Well, let's kill him first. It's cool. It looks like there's kind of a slightly different model there instead of cookie cutters. So they felt about the same, but that one had more arrows and different details. Cool feature. So, I don't know what's up with these halls, but they're worshipping their tortured brethren here. Make sure we have our shield up, shall we? Hmm. This guy's stuff's just a little bit stronger. Up we'll go ahead backstab him. And down he goes. And he's rocking a great axe. Along with some sort of Albertia there. And these guys have chain now, so they appear to be military of some sort. And now we also have a Halberd. Cool. Alright. So we have some sort of, those appear to be female statues and some of them lost their heads. Not exactly clear how that happens. But uh, these worshippers appear to be non-aggroed for now. So we can go left or we can go right. Let's try going right. It's blood stains. Is anyone going to attack me if I come get you? Yes, they will, in fact. Looks like Iodex Gundir wasn't the only one who had an infestation problem. 
Well, we're gonna leave that alone. Let's see what's over here to the left, shall we? So no, I'm taking that thing out, just one Estus. Hello? Does not open on the side? Of course. So eventually, I'm sure we will get through there. Let's make sure there wasn't anything on that platform up there. And see if... Monster guy is going to revert or get bored or something. I'm not seeing anything. So yeah, the whole purpose of crossbow guy is to lull you into a false sense of security. That's a very favorite trick of... Miyazaki and friends. And no. Still doing stuff. Let's see if I can just run around. Ooh. No, you can, in fact, we'll go around a little bit. Ooh. Cool. Now we have a crossbow. Let's see if. We can use it. And a long bow, yeah. So I like having a bow in a Dark Souls for utility purposes. It's nice, especially for melee characters to try and pull things one at a time. The equivalent of throwing a rock at them in Bloodborne. And what the heck, we're close to a chest, or chest, close to a bonfire. So let's see if we can get this guy to a point of farming him. Now, we could be lame and shoot him. But Pierce, this guy has the same moves that his Iodex, which means he has huge recovery. Well, I don't know, his thing seemed a lot angrier. Yeah, we may lay this out. First of all, let's see what all of those things I picked up I can actually use. And we can also check out their weapon arts. So we can use the crossbow. Uh, apparently crossbows can bash people. And bows appear to shoot through shields. Interesting. Uh, we will need a little bit more dexterity to use that. That's alright, because I'm sure any spears will need dex later on, so that's a worthy investment. Uh, now the question is, can you aim crossbows in this game? Yes, you can. Cool. Alright, so keep that in mind. Uh, and we still got plenty of equip load to work with. We'll see if uh, we can find any bolts. This guy seems very. Man, that's a lot of hit points. Is the downside of the spear or the spear archetype very narrow hitboxes? Uh, playing with height wasn't quite as effective as I thought it would be. Where the heck am I going to get an opening for this 
Let's try this again with some more Estus. You know, we'll wait on that. I'm gonna at least find a decent weapon before I take on Eldritch Monstrosities. So yeah, same thing again, weird. Hollow worshippers. They're scared of conflict. Not to mention this conspicuous undead dragon going on over here. So I'm trying to figure out if Lantern Guy here aggro's the worshippers. So I'm going to try to keep him alive and see if he'll voice his disapproval. Scream, do your thing. In the meantime, I'm going to explore all this. And he's stuck. <laughs> so I will take out this guy. Did he lose interest or what? Well, I ain't laying around. Maybe he just does that when he first sees you. So yeah, it's unclear if these guys are worshipping the tree people or this dragon here. Who appears to be made out of ash and is drifting away. And we'll leave him be. Some guys in here. Poke, poke, poke. A riveting gameplay, I know. We have this guy. Who I bet if we were to roll through would make life harder for us. Uh. So let's tell people to look carefully. Hopefully people don't discover the hard way that he can break through doodads in the environment. But he's not that bad. Alright, so we got firebombs. And we're not quite to the point where we can get a level. That's alright though. We can see what's going on in there. So that's an axe wielder with some souls. So that may not necessarily be where we were earlier. I'm gonna pull a Zelda here. Make sure there's nothing hiding. Uh, there's... I'm sure there's some way to get to that. That's the thing with from sub level design. They're good about drawing your eyes to things and there are definitely ways to get there. We'll see how ridiculous they end up being. And I kind of wish they had the Dark Souls way of just holding, you just hit the sprint button to slide down ladders, but oh well, that is what it is. I'm sure there is a reason for it. But I said it's a Dark Souls 2, you hold down and then the sprint button. In fact, I wonder, let's make sure that this doesn't climb to the top. If we hit the sprint button, does it make us fall? Because this won't be too bad, but okay, it doesn't make you fall. Good, because that happened in Dark Souls 2, and I may have died once or twice before I finally internalized that lesson. This is an excellent message. <sighs> because unlike that other one, there's a dragon here who is totally alive. I didn't know you can repost from a guard break. Cool. 